I am selling my chickens. good windy overcast afternoon is from the uh, boisterous cock farmstead so I placed an ad on Craigslist and I took out 10 of my older or um, somewhat problematic chickens uh, either they're slow, they get picked on by roosters, or they're just some of the older ones. And placed them over here in this chicken tractor. And somebody came by, the first customer that came by actually bought seven of them. So I was hoping to get rid of about six to ten chickens total. Um, if they had wanted some of the ones that were out loose, uh, I would have sold them for the right price. But the biggest thing was I just wanted to get my numbers down and so I've left this top open, but there's a couple girls that are still in here that uh, haven't figured out that they could get out or they're just too comfortable in there, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna get those out of there. All right, so this is the chicken tractor I've actually had my Cornish hens in. And I marked them with a, a colored zip tie so that I knew which ones. I, mean, I should be able to pick them out anyway, but just as a double check. Um, and I'm probably gonna let them go a couple days out here. Uh, but one of the reasons why I'm getting rid of uh, got rid of those seven and uh, wanted to downsize my main coop flock is just for um, decrowding a little bit. There was a little bit of an issue, even though there's plenty of, of linear feet of roosting in here for the number of chickens that I had they didn't necessarily like to all get as close as as I had roosting space for and one of them especially which actually was bought by this customer was the Rhode Island Red that I found on the roadside about a year ago she had been consistently getting out and roosting on top of that particular tractor so I wanted to just kind of make a little bit of room. Uh, I tend to do this every year is I'll kind of cycle out some of my older layers. When I, um, once my spring hatched chicks come around to laying age and we're getting to the point where uh, they're all old enough to be laying eggs and um, just wanted to make room for them. I'll probably actually, I'll sell some of those off next year or maybe even this fall, depending on if I try to hatch hatch out some uh, chicks this, this year. I think I'm going to try to exclusively hatch with a broody hen. So it'll have to be at the right time where I've got the roosters, the rooster that I want paired up with the hens that I want and I've got a broody hen uh, sitting as well. But another thing is this year, I'll have to get some fresh chicks from my breast line because those are all my original uh, hens and uh, I'm not sure how much longer they're gonna be productive. So I do have a couple that are laying right now even without a light or anything as the days get a little bit longer. 
but uh, for the most part I just want to make sure that I'm freshening up that line and I may actually mark them with a, a colored uh, bracelet on their on their ankle and keep them in the main coop until these other older girls uh, are ready to be retired or sold off or whatever so we'll see once once the spring comes around but uh, we actually had some hail here just about an hour ago right before the customer came to pick up those chickens so um, not the best of weather but Overall, everybody's doing good. Uh, the boys over here are doing well. I actually took the small feed pan that I that I used to feed that little boar there and uh, fed the chickens this morning with that. So those guys actually had to share a big pan this morning and they actually did really well together. So I may actually just keep doing that. Um, one thing I noticed is that when when they do when they are forced to fight for their food, I think it actually helps with their muscle development. Um, they don't get a ton of exercise anyway, so when they push and shove against each other, um, I think it actually w helps with with uh, building up muscle for for uh, the the butcher market. So, if you guys have any opinions on that, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Tell me if I'm completely off base or or if that is a real thing or not. So, anyway. Uh, I am going to call it for now. Uh, the bread was actually a really good success. I've got another loaf um, in the fridge right now and a couple a couple modifications that I want to make for that. One is I rolled it in the flour um, and it didn't allow the top crust to really crisp up because the, there was flour covering that. So that was one, one thing that I'll, I'll change this time around. And the other thing is I didn't score it with the lom, uh, the cutting knife. So this next batch, uh, which I think I'm gonna make tomorrow, I'll score that one and I'll keep it from having too much flour on the top. And I might actually just make one big loaf instead of two smaller loaves out of that one as well. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any bread recipes that you, that you recommend, feel free to leave that in the comment section as well. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. As always, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And uh, share this video, uh, comment on this video, click the bell notification so that you're notified of any uh, future videos as they come out. Thanks for joining us, and as always, God bless.